Well, it seems as though the Xbox showcase gets another chink in its armor. Now, surprisingly, it's coming from Digital Foundry. Yes, the same Digital Foundry who gave the showcase rave reviews. That said, they're making some distinct differences between showing and offering as it relates to the showcase. See, Digital Foundry's concerns are how certain games were shown versus the actual end product will land. These concerns are around PC footage and the use of the term in-game engine to fool viewers. Now, why does Xbox continue to struggle with this when its peers, according to Digital Foundry, got this all in check? Well, we tackle all this on the next installment of The Spill, our gaming hot topic video series, and it starts now. What's up, people? It's your boy, MM2K of Geeks, Hard Knock Digital Culture, Cloud Dosage, and MM2K Gaming back again with another episode of The Spill. This is where we talk about the latest and greatest in video game news, the hot topic item of the day, and I ran about it. Uh, but before we get into this video, do us a huge favor, that like button, hit that subscribe button, and rock those bells for notifications, please. All right. So let's first deal with the claim. Claim is that uh, the Xbox showcase, you know, the one that got a whole bunch of critical acclaim from various uh, outlets and people were saying it's the best showcase over. It's the best Xbox showcase over. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Everybody was saying all that trash. No, no, no. To be fair, th the showcase was good. And to be doubly fair, um, it was the best showcase of the summer uh, showcases. The, the summer showcase was trash. Um, it was Xbox and then Nintendo that I feel like had okay showcases. I don't even throw Ubisoft in there. They, I mean, they're showcasing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sorry. Um, but Xbox was a standout showcase. I'll give that to him. And I won't even, I, I won't even argue with anybody that says, hey, this was Xbox's best showcase this generation. You definitely don't get any from me for saying that. But B... If you say that this is the best showcase in general, this generation, I, you're not going to get any arguments out of me. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not going to nitpick there. We, we just haven't had great showcases this generation. So I think all that is fair to assume or argue or whatever. You're not going to get any debate from me on that. What I will not accept is that this is of the best showcases ever, or this is even Xbox's best showcase. This is where you guys are in your fields. You react emotionally and you always react in the moment and you never look at things from 5,000 feet. You always put your foot in your mouth. Like everybody's going crazy over these showcases right now. They're showcases, which are integral. They play a huge part in the fanfare of keeping you engaged. But at the end of the day, we don't play these showcases. We play the actual games. And time and time again, Xbox has had the best showcase like even digital foundry even though they praise this one they've been here before they praise the last one they said the last one was the best one and this time around they're like fool me once shame on you but they're looking again this time they're like hold on you're showing us a good showcase but how is this stuff gonna land right you know again they they they, they said it was digital foundry said it was the best showcase of the generation out of anybody and i'm not gonna argue with them on it However, they feel the showcase has core problems with the expectation set because of how the games were shown. And they, they break it down into two parts. Part number one is the reliance on the term in engine. And then secondly, and maybe the most important one that they focused on the most was not fully disclosing PC footage. All right. So if you're wondering where this came from, I'll leave a link in the, if you're watching the video portion, uh, we're also going to do a podcast on it. So if you're not actually watching that podcast right now, I will tell you how you can get access to it. But, you know, g give me a moment here uh, to babble. <laughs> but yeah, th there's actually a digital foundry clips and hopefully they didn't remove it because for some reason the main video was associated to was removed. I don't know if it's because the video is part of the Patreon first of all. I don't know. Um, with that said, hope if the video's still up, they got a snippet video on their on their clips channel where they're talking about the misleading parts of the showcase, even though they gave it critical acclaim. 
Um, first thing, let's, talk, let's tackle the smaller thing. In engine is too misleading as they feel. It's not gameplay. I mean, we've seen Xbox wood buffers all over Twitter. If it's an engine, it's the actual game elements. No. Digital Foundry is telling you no. They said pretty much anything. I'm paraphrasing, but pretty much anything can be made in engine. That is not in engine is not gameplay. Right? And it doesn't necessarily symbolize the gameplay. We saw that with now again, they say that PlayStation is better with this stuff, but we saw that with Concord. Concord had shown us uh, a cinematic, uh, what's it called? In engine, right? And then they showed us the gameplay that looked fundamentally different, okay? PlayStation just showed us that, all right? So there's that. We got to understand that when we see an engine, we may see some semblances of what you may get in gameplay, but it doesn't represent 1v1 gameplay. Okay. Next. And the most important thing out of all this, and that is where is this footage being shown? There was a question posed to Digital Foundry. And someone said, look, in their opinion, everything looked great, but they could tell that everything was not being run from the X, the Series X, or even definitely not the Series X. And they asked Digital Foundry if they thought this was misleading. And they replied, yes, they thought it was misleading. Um, now, they, they're they saying that Xbox is, is incrementally trying to get more transparent, but they're but they're not where they need to be. And they said they are fooling people by secretly showing stuff on PC, like that's the way it's gonna play on console. You guys saw that with Hellblade, right? Where you were shown stuff in showcases, where it was at 60 frames per second, I believe it was. Um, and with, with Fidelity that, even though it, it still may have looked good on the consoles, it was nowhere near what it was shown. Um, and considering that the bulk of Xbox's core is on consoles, that's not good, right? They did admit that Perfect Dark could be a more realistic representation because as they were looking at the compressed footage, even though they, you know, because it's compressed, they couldn't really tell what was what um, as far as pixels and stuff like that. But they said looking at the compressed footage that, you know, the dips in the resolution, the dips in performance were more of a semblance of what was going on on console. And they also said it could be just because the game is in, on its early stage and it could have been a vertical slice from PC, but they don't know. Um, because look, fact of the matter is, as far as I'm concerned, it is being built on UE5. And we know at this stage of the game, anything built on UE5 is going to be heavily taxing to use Digital Foundry's words of the past. It's gonna be heavily taxing and it is just gonna create bottlenecks and a little bit of stutters that we saw during the showcase. They could be more paramount once we get the actual game on consoles. And they also commented that, look, PlayStation and Nintendo are doing a way better job of being transparent here. They said PlayStation is, you know, they make sure that th themselves and definitely the partners label where the game footage is coming from so there are no mysteries while you're watching it also they said nintendo just don't play any games they they make it where you have to show footage from switch or you're breaking their terms as being a partner all right so with all that out on the table what what are my thoughts and what is it that we want to discuss on this podcast well here's the thing i talked about this over the weekend if you remember you caught that video you know and thank you for your support if you're not, you're missing out on great content because as things just hits the brain waves, I really just, you know, uh, um, I cascade that information to you guys and, and I try to elaborate on it. Um, there is a very harmful cycle that Xbox as a company and their fans go through. And that cycle consists of bad news and inconsistent messaging runs the rules the day for Xbox. Then out of nowhere, they have a favorable showcase. Hopes and aspirations, you know, are at a fever pitch. And Xbox has turned it around in the eyes of many of their, their diehard fans. And then the actual games from said showcase land and they underperform and they fall flat. 
or are just plain bad. And one of the examples that I have of such, and, and, and it's fostering like a, quite a comical debate online is, let me show you. Well, you know, it's better that I show you than, than try to explain it. Here we go. So I put out this tweet right here because as I was creating this, it just hit my mind. When things show well, but land short. And I, and I urge people, don't shoot me. I'm just a messenger. So this is Sinuous Saga Hellblade 2, which I, at the time of this recording, I think is barely a month old, if even that old, maybe a little bit older than a month by a few days or a week. There's 67 in game at the time of this recording. When you go to the first one, there's 455 in game. Now, neither one of these are huge numbers, but the fact that the month old game sees a significantly less active user base than the old game just shows you how Xbox has increased their ability to market during these showcases to show you good looking stuff. But when you get it substantively in your hand, it's not as great as it looks at all. The old game, which I believe is like eight years old, has way more people in it than the game that's barely a month old. This is a game that people are trying to tell you is a, is a cinematic masterpiece and an artful masterpiece. But wouldn't you want to experience it over and over again? I mean, there are replayability to it that give you new narrations and stuff like that in the game, right? Well, I mean, but how, how is that more engaging than an eight-year-old game, right? Or how is that less engaging than an eight-year-old game, right? That, that to me is a prime example of xbox showing you something because every time we show hellblade people are like oh this is a visual stunner this is this could be game of the year oh right and it didn't land that way and we see that and then rinse and repeat we see that over and over again Here, here's the fact of the matter xbox needs to release games that perform and play well on both consoles and pcs and then it, they ain't got to play these games of not being transparent of where they're showing you this stuff from the from the uh, showcase. If, if, if they take the same approach as, as PlayStation, as far as giving you quality product, then they won't be ashamed. They won't be the bash to show you, to tell you, hey, this this is footage from PC or this is footage from, from a PlayStation. And look, here's the thing. I agree with Digital Foundry on this. If PC is your pivot, as, dig, as Digital Foundry indicates in this video, that is the source of this, embrace it. Cause you need an identity. That's a bigger part of your problem. Okay, you're you're not known for bringing out quality games, but when it comes to console gamers, that's what they're looking for, and that's why you do so abysmally when it comes to consoles. If you are trying to pivot to PC, and then the console is now just going to be an off branch of what you do, then you need to say so. You need to say, hey, look, this is what we're doing now. We're you know at the center is PC, but you but you know, console gamers, you are our core, and we still want to give you access to what we have that's going to flow through PC. So that's why we're creating said hardware. You, you, you better figure out a way. Now, now, that was a rough way to say, but you better figure out a, a way to get that message across and get it across soon. Um, and consistency towards great experience is what is needed to make any of this happen. No gimmicks, no lack of transparency. Right? And Last but certainly not least, kudos to Digital Foundry for calling us out. With that said, that's it from your boy. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Cause like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. They'll lead you to Geeks, Cloud Dosage, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and MM2K Gaming. And again, if you're not watching the actual podcast, click the video to your left right now to get access. With that said, peace. Have a wonderful gaming day.